Test one, two. Hello everyone, how are we tonight? I do apologize, I know things are running a bit behind. I am your MC for tonight. My name is Lisa Peta Fenila. Um, we are running on time, tongue and on time, so I'm on time. Uh, but we do ask that you make yourselves comfortable and while we get everything sorted, uh, you're more than welcome to utilize the dance floor. We're gonna ask the DJ and our live band to accompany you guys with some music before we actually do start our program. Thank you very much.
A long time ago, a young lady joined our family. Her name was Anya Bayena at the time. She's now Anya Matekuolaba. And we joined with this Samoan family. They became uh, an extension of our own family. So I am here on behalf of the bride uh, to represent the bride's side. Uh, to my Tongan kainga here, ko kore fa monomola ya ta tek moto. Ko mea ipe ko ta wanga fa tonga. E to e ta MC nei he family o e tangata. Ka i he anga fa hak moa. Ko na to na to me ta ni. O hinga e ko e ko asmai ahoni. Sorry, I was just letting my 
my Tongan people know why I'm here today. Um, we are about to start. I'm going to give our fireworks lady uh, a few minutes to set up, but then we will be on our way. So I do ask the DJ, live band, one more song, please, and then we'll be on our way. Thank you very much.
be accompanying us for the remainder of the night. And we are ready to start. Let's get another big cheer. Let's wake everyone up. Get ready to. Let's get another big cheer. Let's wake everyone up. There it is. Get ready to welcome our bridal party. Okay. I've given, been given the okay by our fireworks lady, given the okay by our staff. We are ready to start. We are going to open up our bridal party with the mother of our groom. Our groom is Viliami Lavlavu. His mother is Salote Hivakakala Moi Moi. Lavlavu. His father, who could not be here today, Sione Lampeti Moi Moi. His brother is here on his behalf, Fasi Lavlavu. We are going to fix this program very soon. I want you to please welcome the, fa the mother and the father's brother of our group, Salote and Fasi Lavulavu. lights on.
Kasi Lamlavu and Rachel Leota. I do apologize. Uh, the bride has requested that our lights stay off, and we all know happy wife, happy life. So please, as requested by the bride, let's just keep going. Uh, oh, oh, the bride's a nice lady. Thank you very much, bride. The cameras can see me again. Thank you. All right, here we go. On to our next. I want you to please, please welcome our young flower girls and our page boy. DJ.
All right. Our next couple. Lillian Tarete and Ben Brown.
We're getting there, we're getting there slowly but surely. Our next couple is our maid of honor and best man. Please, would you please welcome Anya and Sefita Matekuolama. Give another round of applause for our bride of party, please. 
that was uh, quite a process, but uh, we got there in the end. We welcomed them. We will now move on with our program as soon as our house lights are turned on, please. I want to give a special mention to our fire hookie. Fire hookie, you want to give us a bit of a dance? DJ, play a song for our fire hookie. See on it, pull him on my car, that can be Let's go, DJ. Let us pray. Father, we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus and in the power of the Holy Spirit. We thank you that this is a day that you have made. We shall rejoice and be glad in the day of celebration where two become one. We thank you for your presence tonight. We thank you, Lord God, that uh, everything that we do tonight, Lord God, whether we break bread, fellowship, we thank you that you are in our midst. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. please. Okay, we're going to get the formalities out of the way first. We're going to start with our speeches. Before we do that, we're going to ask the, the live band and our DJ to give us a few songs. Uh, I'm going to ask also that our speeches prepare a very short speech, okay? We want to keep it short and sweet. We're going to have one from Viliami's father's side, one from Viliami's mother's side, and Hazel's mother will also give us a speech. Okay, I'm gonna ask the DJ to please play a song and then we'll get right on to our speeches. Thank you very much. You rocking with DJ Tyler? Yes, sir. Yes.
Lamlabu, Fussy Lamlabu. Round of applause, everybody. Hello, Lele. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, I have for now to say some words and say um, thank you for everyone. Kurebege u kufanga he wada pukodwa pe kwa faki he pedoni kai pukebe mu afanga mali kweni he faya toha fa fufonga he tafaki tamai biyami ahon kimo ge fa haria tumo atupe fa feta ge otu ago hui kweni fa hoko eta wa manaki ahon pe a tau kawai he ah malari ah fifia. Um, my name is Fasi. Um, this is um, older than William's father. Uh, I can't speak uh, very much in English. Can't speak uh, Samoa, only in a few words. But um, I'll be happy to try to to say some. Um, speak in English, but I'm sorry if you're not understanding. <laughs> but um, I'm very, um, very, very happy today. Um, and then I have um, a strong heart to, to say some uh, uh, speech uh, this afternoon to um, I would say to thank you and for your coming today and then we uh, separate uh, my sons uh, uh, today and um, and then um, say um, I don't much understand what can I say but um, but I say thank you very much for the someone lady is named Heso. Thank you very much for your shoes, Williami, my son, to be your husband. And then uh, thank you very much for your mom. And then you um, accept my son to be uh, uh, your seven. Seven iti ge fai ha pui. Koi ako pamalo hen ge ge family ko tope kauha moa koi hui kumbu. Lava Maya Honi get out, Kaunga Kau, he fear from a malaria Honi, go Huiga, go a Kahoko, a family for all. I go Hakoen, the way of home. Malola Yen gave family Fae, um, Yami, a Hiva, my family got a Fae, a Hiva, a big for Maloki, a Fahu, a Sioni, a ma. Anna, kau buka ego fifi aje, kau malu aje, kau tak kau tak pe, kau tak kau ngah kau he, tapi kau ya kau pepe aje dia kau malu, kau tak kau lele kau tak motor, kau kau ngah ya tu, ay, tamai, ah William ni, tapi kau ya kau pepe aje dia kau malu, kau apa tu, malu apa tu? Please give a round of applause for Fasi Lavulavu. He was speaking on behalf of Viliami's father's side. We will also now have the speech from Viliami's mother's side. Happy for all, Pelikani. Please give a round of applause for Up for All. My name is Happy for All, Pelikani. And uh, my mom's older than him as uh, mom. So I would love to call my colua to speak on um, to speak in Samoan to you, and then I will do my part in Tongan. Thank you. Ah, mua mua ona moli di inga matat kai lu moli atua. Ile neya fia fia. Ona olona lofa maluanga ngalei wa kau nu waile neya so fia fia pasanga ile. Nah, info, ya, dia mahu dia kuai ni, tak kaki kiri. 
Ya, aku de de Cina lain tak? For those that don't know, my followers name is Lau Pepa Maria Toa Luteru. He's from Salwai. Oh ya, kau kau ni ke hufang lah engah hitalah fatap kotor pe. Kata mau aku ke fai hakile ama fan hai fai fkoni. Pagau tu pe mau ke hufang lah engah hitalah fatap kotor pe. Kae kata ke fai hakile ama fan nak ihe. Oh mau aku nak fatah dah ini kita utolu ihe fai fkoni. Ah Miriami, pe mau hohoa. Kau faham malu kata mau. Kau yang aku awi aku lawan nu sila, pea malu naik tu otol wesen yang eh William eh tohi fakafe, pea fakau kau keru lele mai, kau ingat aku tak kita hape ni kau moko pun apa kau kau tamah aku kasih dok nene fakafe iau, ihe keu ha aku ihe fufe itu mama ape kau fakafe. Of kafe ingu tu peya, ihe mengahim matu. Ah, okay, ule le ya kita mengahim mari Amerika mo. Asteria ni fe itu pevi. Kau ni si toh yang ni peya William ni Facebook ah, keuha upaya kau ni ayah kau ah he fiaf kau ni. Famaluat ki si kai ngong kau hong family he fiaf kau ni. Kau kaya hari afe uga William ni kau kiki le ape kau wat katik mo wa kau mari. Tuo tak hape, pelak tok framawa ipe hemat eh, hangai kau, tok framawa ipe hemat eh, kau ya, kau framalo atau kau tahi le frafo ofa kau kefiri he frafo kau ni, keho kau kohohoa, pak kau fratawang ipe fia fia pe tahi le he frafo kau ni, he frafo he mugi family masih mak kau ni tua far malo. All right, we've heard from our Tongan family. We're gonna give the live band one song to kind of liven up our place here. So I know everyone's eating, eating very calmly. We want you to eat very fast, okay? And then we're gonna go on to Rachel, Neota's speech. Rachel, yeah, after the song, and then we'll go on to your speech, yes? Thank you very much, band, all yours.
Give us her speech. Rachel, give us a round of applause for Rachel Leota. Ya 
ma ua matama le aima. Ele ma fai e upu, ona fa ma kalaina, le ma kutanga ma siakama, e pelei ilo lotu. O eiso os teine usta, o me au ma tono o ma toa aima lo sila fria e umeo uso mtua ngani. She is my left hand, right hand, half hand, down hand, everything. She is my everything. Ole, 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 ose mea koi ngale, ole mafutanga se tina, masana tama teini. E le mafai ona fa matala ina le mata ngofi. Ai o te faftai tamale langi. Ua. Bawa e iso se tama se taule a lea fai pa se tama e sili ona le lei mo ia. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank that each and every one are here tonight to celebrate my daughters, my beautiful queen and Billy, Mr. Lava Lava. Lava Lava. Peter, I tell you this, this is for me and Hazel's dad. You know, they really, my Hazel's dad, me and dad, Hazel, we love you so much. One day, if you give up on Hazel, you're sick of her or whatever, I want you to bring Hazel to my home and to my arm. Bring her back. Don't go and throw her in the road. Bring her back into my arm. Well, it's not the first time you come, Peter. Billy. Oh, it was, it was so hard. You know the first time I met Billy? I'll tell you guys a, a small little story. No matter how long I have to take back. This is the day that we have to say this the morning about our kids, you know? I love them so much. The first, the first time Billy came to my house, I was shocked when he came. I said to my daughter, who's that boy? And then my son, Ben, Ben. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, oh, oh thank you. I said, <laughs> I said to, I said to, to, to Hazel, who's that boy? That was Sunday. And Hazel goes, oh, mom, sorry, but Billy was standing right at the door. And he goes, mom, I want you to meet Billy. And I said, who's, who the hell is Billy? Why don't you bring Billy into our home? And she goes, mom, please, please. Take Billy, he's a really nice boy. And I say, no, I'm not gonna accept Billy. But my son Ben, <laughs> my son Ben, he jumped in and he, this is what he said. He said, mom, take this man. And I said, why? And he goes, because I already touched him. <laughs> I already touched Billy. And he's been with Billy how many times before me? Oh my gosh! From there, I'm so happy. You know, Billy? All I can say, Billy and Hazel, we love you guys so much. We are calling you or some of you. I'm not, no, I look after 10 kids. 10 kids? <laughs> Five is enough? Love you guys so much. Dad is saying his love, sorry Dad's not going to be your first, but Dad, Dad I love you guys so much, and I'm so proud of you guys, Billy, love you really so much, don't ever touch your head, <laughs> I love you Billy, okay, thank you guys, enjoy the, the, the night, thank you, thank you to Billy's family, this boy Lola, <laughs> all nice, thank you, uncle and auntie and the mom, everybody, 
Oh, sorry. And first of all, sorry, I nearly missed this thing. Thank you, Pastor Klaus. Thank you so much for, you know, for helping the kids' life. You know, thank you so much for you and your wife and the family and all the uh, church members. I love you guys. Okay, we have one more lot of speeches to get through before we can finally move on from it. We're going to get that out of the way now. We're going to ask our maid of honor and our best man to please grace us with their speeches. The confusion earlier was that Anya, our maid of honor, wanted to enter with her husband to find out only that the husband is not the best man. So our best man is Simme Moelasi and our maid of honor, Anya Matekwalava. Good evening, um, family and friends. Uh, before I, I introduce myself, I just want to take this time to give glory and honor to our King Jesus for this beautiful day that we get to celebrate Billy and Hazel. I would also like to extend honor to the parents of the bride and groom, Hiva and Lord Betsy Lava Lava, and the brother of Lord Betsy, Fassi Lava Lava, and Rachel and Terry Leota for your beautiful hospitality in today's celebration. I would also like to honour our amazing senior pastors, Pastor Gus and Pastor Jan, for their amazing leadership and their love over Billy and Hazel, and also to our beautiful Revelation Church family. Thank you for your love for our King Jesus, and also ensuring that today and every day be centred around him. And also a huge shout out to our work colleagues, um, Ali and Sapan. Thank you guys for turning up tonight. We appreciate you guys so much. But um, for those that don't know me, my name is Sime, and today I've had the honours and the privilege of being Billy's best man. Today I just want to quickly share a word of, of how I met Billy, and also a word of encouragement from the Word of God as you guys step into this new journey of marriage. I've known Billy just over a year now, and, and together we've been serving together at church, building God's kingdom. From serving together, doing life together, we now work together. And for some reason, everywhere I go, Billy, Billy is always there. And I think you pretty much can't get sick of me, so final jokes. But the Parsi that I've got to know, Billy, he's been nothing but a blessing. He's the type of guy that will 100% lend a hand to anyone in need. He has a big smile and always laughing. And literally, he's always laughing. There was this time at work when I was literally behind schedule. I was stressing out. The fire system wasn't going to plan. And I explained to Billy, like, look, bro, we're behind schedule. And he goes, <laughs> <laughs> And I don't know if he was being serious, but at the same time, man, that just makes who Billy is. You know, Billy has a big smile. He's always laughing, and that's who he is. And I love that. You know, for Billy, he doesn't change for anyone. In the span of a year, I've seen Billy grow in his walk with God from being a shy, timid person, person to now always laughing 24-7. But his smile and laugh really makes who he is. And I have witnessed really overcome challenges and seen him step out, out of his comfort zone and walk in the likeness of God. Although I didn't grow up with Billy, but to all the family and friends that did grow, grow up with Billy, we can't deny the fact that God has tra transformed his life. And we can't deny the fact that God really um, made a way for Billy to, to be the person that who he is today. And, you know, walking closely with Billy, I can truly say that, man, I'm truly blessed for me and my wife. And just a small encouragement from the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 25 to 33. And just to honor time, I'll just quickly sum it up. This verse highlights the concept of sacrificial love in marriage, teaching husbands to love their wives 
as Christ loved the church and wives to submit to their husbands. This could be a foundation for understanding the importance of what marriage truly is. It reminds us that strong marriage is built on Jesus alone. And without Jesus, marriage is nothing. This, par this passage reflects a Christ-centered approach to what love and marriage truly is. In a way that it teaches couples to emulate the selfless and unconditional love demonstrated by Christ. And as a husband to husband, a brother to brother, I leave you with this feeling. Really. Along the way, Hazel's going to make mistakes. And Hazel, along the way, really is going to make mistakes also. And just with what pa our pastor had preached today, marriage is a process, it's a journey. And even though marriage is not perfect, but along the way, we continue to learn, we continue to grow, and we continue to prosper as well. And that um, no matter what you guys face along the way, nothing will ever tear you guys apart because your foundations are in Christ. And it takes three to make marriage work. It's God, it's you, Billy, and it's you, Hazel. And always remember that it's important to really safeguard the marriage in a way that you guys continue to walk with each other, grow with each other, pray together, but also be accountable to each other as well. And I just want to say thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. You know, for me... I can't thank you really enough for who you are and for everything that you do for me and my wife, for being there, building God's kingdom alongside with us, you and Hazel. I appreciate you guys always, and remember marriage is a gift from God. Embrace the highs, the lows, love always, and forgive quickly. Let it be your loudest gospel message to the world. And may Jesus be glorified forever and always. Amen. Ciao, sure, guys. to the best man, Sime, um, first of all. Um, our bridal party was having a bit of a competition and um, I wanted to win with my husband. <laughs> Sime was actually happy that he wasn't partnered with me, so. <laughs> um, for those that don't know me, my name is Anya. The easiest way to describe my relationship with Hazel is she's basically my sister. Um, Thank you, Sime, for doing all the honouring. Um, but I do want to honour both sides of the family, um, Bella's side as well as Hazel's side of the family. Thank you so much um, for this beautiful day that you guys have prepared. But I also want to honour our beautiful Pastor Gus and Pastor Jan and everyone from the Revelations Church um, for sowing into this amazing couple and for believing in what God is about to do in them and continue to do in them throughout their journey. I have no excuses, but to be honest, I did not prepare a speech today. So I'm going to speak from the heart, amen? Um, ah, Hazel. <laughs> I was asked this morning, um, I was asked this morning why I was chosen to be the maid of honor and when Hazel asked me. And I was like, I had no words. <laughs> Um, I said that she asked me when we were in the womb and, and then I was just shocked and I sat there and I was thinking I wonder why she asked me to be her maid of honor and then I told her to tell me <laughs> why she chose me I mean basically she just like I said earlier we're all we have basically we didn't grow up in a big group of siblings and it's always just been me and Hazel pretty much since nappies and then we were blessed with two brothers in the same year Ben and BJ um, but it's always just been quite a small knit family and we tend to like to just keep to ourselves and do things together always which is why me and Hazel are pretty much we're literally like this and now we're like this after today Thanks to Billy. <laughs> nah. um, thank you so much for the opportunity to be able to come up here and be your maid of honor today. But I honestly wanted to honor both of these guys. 
everything that we see today, everything that's happened today, I can honestly st stand here and say that this was all really and Hazel because of their love for God and their heart to serve our King Jesus. Our families did help prep, but honestly, this was all them. And I just want to honor them and the beautiful love and the heart that they have for Jesus and that they continue to serve every single day, especially now in their marriage. One thing that I've learned in marriage is that it's never completely 50-50. Sometimes one is 70% and the other one carries the 30%. But that's the beauty of love, is the fight that we get to choose to love each other every single day. And I pray that you two decide, you two continue to choose to love each other every single day. And I know that you will, because I can see your heart for Jesus and the way you guys serve him in God's house. It's evident today. And I thank you both so much for the love that you guys have also had for my family and my kids, who were the flower girls. Um, but yes, thank you so much. I just wanted to leave a short scripture. And it's Matthew 6.33. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things shall be added to you. Keep God in the sense of Miliani and Hazel, and you can never go wrong. Amen. I've seen you guys at your lowest. And because of that, I'm so grateful to stand here and witness the beautiful covenant seal today. So thank you very much for everything, my beautiful sister, Miliami. Like I mentioned in the limos, there is no return policy. Enjoy her. And thank you guys so much for this beautiful day. I say these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Would you please give another round of applause for our maid of honor and our best man? Thank you guys, those speeches were beautiful. Thank you to the mothers and our fathers that also spoke. We have passed the speeches. Uh, I'm gonna ask the DJ to please give us a few songs whilst we prepare for the next program. You are more than welcome to utilize our dance floor. You are more than welcome to keep eating the food on your table. I'm pretty sure the maids will be served soon as well. So please, please, uh, we're going to ask our DJs uh, to, to play the music and then we'll move on. Thank you very much.
want to stay down here for our next program. Thank you very much, Live Ben. Okay, we are moving on to the cutting of our cake. I'm going to ask our bride and groom to please get into position. Our photographers are ready. Please join hands and when you are ready to cut through your cake. <coughs> A round of applause for our Mr. and Mrs. Lava Lava and the cutting of their cake ceremony. We will now move on to their first dance. After they eat the cake. Sorry, it's been a long time since I got married. Forgot how this all goes. But um, we're gonna ask them to please get a piece each. And when you are ready. <laughs> All right. We will now move on to the first dance. Uh, can we please get the house lights off? DJ, when you're ready, please. Would you please welcome onto the dance floor our bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. Williami and Hazen Amara.
The next program is our gift, gifting of our cake. In the Tongan culture, this will be done by the groom's mother's family. Um, Rachel has come to me and asked that I do this, I conduct this program, and I'm just, I'm, I just want to be, uh, make sure that I'm doing this correctly. So we're going to ask the DJ and our live band to give us one quick song before we do gift our cake. DJ, my band, please.
exactly what I'm seeing, guys. Nice to see you all acting, working that food on your table. I'm sure there's more food coming, so keep staying active. Looks really good. We're going to move on with our program. Before we do that, I apologize in advance if I do get this wrong. I'm learning as I'm going along with this. Can we get the house to please? Uh, clean up our, our dance floor, please. Seems to have been an accident. Whilst we wait for that, we are ready to move on. Anya? Yep. Okay. We are going to move on to our gift, our gifting of our cakes. And to start, we are going to give the first cake to the pastor who conducted our ceremony, to Pastor Gus. Would you please give a round of applause to our dear Pastor Gus. DJ. Walk slowly, Anya, wait for the DJ. There you go.
extended sound one family. We will ask our DJ and our live band to give us one song and then our gift caking, gifting of the cake ceremony will continue from our Tamil family. DJ, live band, all yours.
So we will give away for free people. So, um, William, so our first cake will be giving away to Miriam's family, which is Los Ali Mentani.
I don't know what you choose, but tonight I will give away our mom's cake to Hazel's mom. Thank you very much and God bless everyone.
before we do move on to our next one programs, if you have lost your key, you're going to need it to get home. I have a key in my hand with two love hearts hanging on it. You've got to tell me the brand of your vehicle. And then I'll give it back to you. We're going to leave it here at the DJ's table. If you've lost your, you lost your key? <laughs> the keychain looks like this. Two beautiful little love hearts. If you feel like you've lost your keys, please come see us. So, so we can return you your key. We're going to move on. We're going to ask the live band, our DJ, to accompany us with some music. At the same time, for those of you who know you are doing a performance tonight, please, 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 please get ready now. We want to get through these programs as fast as possible. Make sure you all have enough time to gift your performances, as well as I'll move on to other programs that our bride and groom have prepared for us. So please, if you know you are doing a performance, please get ready now. Our first program for the performances is Sefo Thuya and Children. Sefo Thuya, please get ready now, please. Um, other than that, keys, if you're missing your key, come see me. Listen to me, Rami. me. All right, here we go. My band, all you.
Good evening and salut for love everyone. Um, um, we prepared um, two performances for tonight. And um, our Alciva is all the way from Baobai Falealili. Make some noise Baobai Falealili! Um, hope you enjoy, thank you.
Mungu fahamini fahu umeniamka hata kwa maltari yako Present uh, my mom. Unfortunately, she won't be able to make it tonight. Um, so uh, we're here to represent her. Um, just want to say this is a little uh, mail offer um, for from our family and all our the sisters as well. Um, we uh, we love you, Hazel and uh, Williami. Thank you so much for. Um, allowing us to uh, be included in your, your program uh, for tonight. Uh, we really do appreciate it, but we'd like to just um, ask that these guys come and take this little koha from 
from Suliana. Um, and then uh, we will we'll get into our, our dance tonight. Um, Suliana has been also practicing this. I am sorry. Sorry, Tongan traditions. Sorry, we're all learning tonight. Um, there you go, first and last. Cool. Well, there we go. I'm going to make a DJ again. Now I'm going to fuss it. Oh, hello, Mama Ono. Yo, do it, do it, do it. It's the what? It's the what? Hello, Mama Ono.
one more dance from our Melbourne nieces, guys.
We're going to ask our next performers to come ahead and, and introduce themselves. Anya and the bridesmaids, please be getting ready. You will be up shortly as well. Uh, this next song is for anyone who came all the way from Aotearoa, anyone who made the trip from the long white cloud. This next song is for you while we wait for the next dance. Here we go. Hey, so you know, I'll take it personal. You know, I talk about done. You think me confident? I'll never do something for the new girl. Anything test it. You just fly off those legs.
we have Jane, we have Lillian, we have Jackie, and we have everyone else, Anya. So um, this is just our little summer that we put together, just in honor of the Friday room, and we just pray that we continue to love each other and have you show each other the love that we deserve. Thank you.
performances.
siblings. A, a big round of applause for Miliami's siblings. There we go. Okay, we're going to try and keep this program moving. Anyone ready to go? Okay, we're going to ask our DJ uh, and our band to give us one song. And hopefully we will be ready to go. DJ?
kokole ke u hufa atu he fa tapu ka e ata ke fa ya ki ma sana ya ko ta lunga ko ni ko ta lunga ya me he fa tu nga an yo hiva aya ku fia fia pe fa tu nga ne ke fa ya fa fia fia he fia ko ni pe a pila
Willie and Hazel. So no more Samoa here. No more. Uh, Willie is the, the head of the family tonight. So this Samoan family, forget everything. Just come together and happy together. This is our family. This is a very good night to us. The SNC is very good to us. Just only one. Fila and Hazel, no more. Hazel, no more Fila, just one. <laughs> one. Tonight, only one. Yeah, that's how we went for the Fianna. And I know Hazel, Hazel is your family dance. Yeah, so we are.